amidst corruption allegation against Tegbajabi Amila, who is the chief of staff to Tinumbu, his replacement has been announced where people have been calling for his resignation, calling for the sack of Tegbajabi Amila because of this uh, corruption here and there, all this dealing and all of that. And I told people, Tinumbu is not even ready to to send that guy away, no matter what happens, even if it is glaring to him, he's not going to do anything. Now they are still talking about investigation on a better edu, but she has been suspended. Now they have not told us whether she did it, what she was accused of, whether she did it or not. We have not been told, but she has been suspended. But we have enough evidence, enough allegations against uh, Bajabia Mila, but Tinubu has said that uh, they should forget it, that he's going to use him like that. So what are we talking about? Hmm? What are we talking about? Well, the replacement they are talking here. Yeah, you know that uh, Bajabia Mila. Bajabia Mila um, was a senator. Uh, he won his constituency. He has been, he has been, you see, he has been a rep, a rep or whatever, since God knows when. He's the only one who has been represent, representing Suriliri constituency. Hmm. For is it no more than twenty years now, so he won again when Tinubu uh, won as a president. But he, what did he do? He resigned because Tinubu gave him another appointment. So it is the replacements now that they are talking about. The Independent National Electoral Commission (INEC) has announced the replacement of Femi Gojabia Miller, the House of Representatives. The candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Fuad Laguda, was declared winner of the Sriliri. Federal constituency, uh, one by, uh, constituency one by election on Saturday, declaring the result. The returning officer for the by election, Professor Semyon Adibayo, revealed that the APC candidate scored a total of eleven thousand and twenty-three votes. Laguda, a former chairman of the All Progressive Congress in the Suriliri government, replaces Femi Bajabiamila, who was appointed chief of staff. To President Bola Tinubu, who was announced on Saturday after winning the Suriri reps by election. Bajabi Amila had resigned from the House of Representatives last June, and the Speaker Tajuddin Abasa subsequently declared his seat vacant, necessitating a by election in Suriri constituency one to fill the seat sky. Yeah, Nigeria is finished and to hope of survival. Is it not obvious? Of course it is. Few were benefiting from the petroleum subsidy and it was removed. But all of us are suffering from the removal now. I don't know. Is it not better that few were benefiting than what we are in now? God help Nigerians from the hands of uh, their leaders. My question is, where is the money generated through removal of its first subsidy? Where are the trillion dollars they said they pay to subsidy now that they remove subsidy? Where is the money? All our roads are dead traps. No electricity power supply. Please let them use the ins use the money to install good solar energy. Good day. Forget it. Too. They are not saying they are not reasoning you. We too they cry. Please, for God's sake, make we stop all this crazy talk. We should choose the side of protest. If things are not done right, protest is the way to correct misrule. I don't even know why they wasted taxpayers' money conducting selection. They should have just asked Gajabia Mela and APC to name the replacements and we move. As far as Nigeria is concerned, every part of every party regulation, but just that rigging past rigging, there must be a place you can't you can reach. The real problem we have in Nigeria today is the mindset of losers in an election. Losers will lie to minority voters that they didn't lose but were rigged out by INEC. This attitude by minority voters, if not addressed, will give us problems in 2027. I'm sure that APC didn't even win that election. It was rigged. That is how they used to do. God will punish all of you, including INEC officials that are sabotaging the efforts of the ordinary citizens. I think there's one they beat Sheke Sheke in Enugu. Is there a re-election in Nigeria? No. If there's election, how possible for EPC with this tiring performance in office to 
have won election while condemning the three ECOWAS member states. Is there a difference between what is happening in Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Nigeria? Exactly. You are very, very correct. OPPC let the enemies uh, up transform. Of course. <laughs> okay, I swear if you are enjoying country and uh, they love, they are enjoying the suffering now. What are you saying? Look at how these guys with our resources, why can they allow the person that came second to continue? <laughs> what did other parties scored? Or is it all about APC and a candidate? Did you see what happened in the ha, that one? If you person no, who's or dima, all the local government you won. Ha. Mm. Not the way Musa no go see for ghetto. Nothing at all. <laughs> so guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this matter. Thank you.